Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with a little satisfactory. And last episode was a while ago, and they had just released the Sulfur update. And I kind of went over everything that was in the update, except I forgot the Explorer, which is like the uh, this new fast, awesome vehicle. This one here, and I'm going to build one right here. Actually, I won't build it there, I'll build it a little bit later. Hopefully I don't forget to build it. But it's fast, it's cool, and I wanted to build like a highway for it. But there is an update coming out to the game, hopefully at the end of June, that's what they've announced. And it's going to have nuclear power, which should be awesome. Uh, trains, like electric trains. So I'm kind of holding off on building like a highway. I do have a platform that goes in pretty much every direction. Actually, let's go up this giant ladder I built here. I did this a few episodes ago. This goes to the very top of the, <laughs> the limits of the top of the map. Uh, I saw um, an old co-worker I used to work with today and he watches my channel and he's like, oh, I watched that episode where you build the ladder to the top of the map. So it made me kind of want to play Satisfactory again. So hi, Jamie, if you happen to watch this episode. So my factory is a mess. Um, and there's a few reasons for that. There used to be a factory under this whole area underneath, which was kind of like my starting factory. And then I realized I was going to run out of space really quickly. So I decided, you know, to come a little bit higher and make it uh, to have a big flat area to build stuff. And I knew there's going to be updates to the game. So I wasn't sure like how I was going to plan things out. So yeah, it's a little bit messy and that's a, that's intentional. Um, I won't ramble on too long here, but um, my background's kind of in technology and software development and stuff. And there's like a agile methodology where you, you don't necessarily know how things are going to play out. You don't know, you want to get feedback from customers or clients. Uh, as you kind of develop the software. So you don't want to just like write a big giant plan and then be stuck to that plan and find out you got to change things. So I did do some changes. Like I said, I had the old factory, then I had this factory, but I knew the game would be updating. So I didn't want to just go too crazy with it. And once the game is kind of settled down in terms of features, I'll probably start fresh and I'll take all the learnings I had from all this stuff and I'll do a nice, neat factory. I will go with kind of like a main bus idea, which is running down the middle here. Now I don't put everything on the bus, I just put like core, like iron ingot, uh, copper ingot, just the kind of the basics that feed into everything. And that'll branch off to the sides, and I'll probably go make like a vertical factory, like that thing there is my smelting in that building. And I can build up successive layers of it, because that's, sorry, that's iron smelting. So I'm definitely going to need more iron as I scale up the factory, so this thing can grow. Oh, we're getting big lag spikes here. So one thing I want to do this episode, um, besides show off the Explorer, is come down this way and get uh, the Nobelisk production going. So I was going to do it in this manufacturer here. And, sorry, not in this one, in this one over here. Let's just check it out. Yeah, this is the alternate. I'll go back to the regular one here first. And I just, I think I discovered a bug here. If you switch back and forth between recipes, it kind of like eats up the components that were in there. They just disappear, I think. I don't know really where they go. Um, but the regular Nobelisk, you need black powder, steel pipe, and beacons. So I, I was going to do that. And I was going to make beacons over here or somewhere. And beacons require iron plate, iron rod, which requires ingots, and then wire, which requires ingots, and cable, which requires wire. It was going to be quite a complicated setup to make beacons just to feed in over here. But then I was, as I was analyzing hard drives, I discovered a new alternate recipe, which is this one. And I like this one a lot better because all we need here, it makes more, it makes three at a time instead of one, but it takes in crystal oscillators instead of um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the beacons. And I already have these being made, so I'll just feed these 
into this manufacturer. Now I don't have 3.75 per minute being made, but I do have, I think around two per minute being made and that's over that way. So I'll have to make a kind of an ugly path from over there to feed into here. I was just feeding in into this thing manually, the black powder, the beacons, which I think I was hand making and steel pipe, which I can feed in from over there. This is steel pipe thing over this way. This was supposed to be just for whenever I needed steel pipe, I would come over here and grab it. But I should probably build a dedicated steel pipe manufacturing system. But I think what I'll do is I'll just maybe branch off this thing or just take out of this thing for now. It's going to be messy, but that's okay. Like I said, we're going to rip up the whole factory and do everything from scratch at some point. It's been a while since I played, so all the controls are like... Got to get used to them again. Okay, so we're going to probably do a... Stackable thing here, just so we can put everything a bit higher. Doesn't get in the way. And we'll go up like this. I've been seeing some videos on YouTube of crazy... Absolutely crazy factories. Like, people are making... Um... 50 supercomputers per minute and stuff like that's great that's cool the factories are monsters but there's no nothing to really do with the supercomputers yet um so it's cool but i'm gonna wait until the update is a little bit more out more contents out so we can kind of plan and then build a giant factory basically build only what we need instead of going overkill even though you can make a cool looking factory so what am I, I've probably gone too far here. Let's see if we can come around a corner here, maybe. And let's see here. Can't afford missing concrete. Okay, we'll go get some concrete. Got some over here. Now I should have like a mall where I have all these components that I need, like concrete, all like in one place, but they're kind of scattered all over. We'll grab, I don't know, three or four stacks of that. The nice thing about this game is that even if the production ratios aren't perfect, you can just let the game run and stockpile things up, which is what I tend to do instead of going overkill with the factory. Okay, I should have branched off, I think, maybe here instead. So I'm going to change this around. We're going to put this thing here, maybe. We'll line it up with this container. That's lining up with something else. Let's just see here. Oh there, there we go. That's probably better. Hopefully I can handle that angle. Oh yeah, leg spike. Another leg spike. Let's take this back out of there. Now I don't know if I'll be able to do this angle. Let's see. Down to there. Yeah, that'll work. So there we go, we got pipes going in there, got powder going in there, and then here is going to be crystal oscillators. Just to get things rolling, I'm going to grab some oscillators. My inventory is kind of full though. Oh yeah, really full. Uh, hmm. How do I want to bring this stuff over? Crystal oscillators are being made over here in this manufacturer. It's taking in uh, crystal, quartz crystal, cable, reinforced iron plate. It's lagging a little bit behind with the reinforced iron plate. And all the down, all the stuff that's feeding to this is being made up here. So we've got, what do we got here? Wire being made. ingots being made. So I feed in copper, ingots, wire, and over here we got the crystal, raw crystal being turned into the uh, quartz crystal. So this is all working well and it's going to a storage container. Maybe I'll build it 
temporary storage thing. No, let's just do it right. Not really right, but... Uh, is this two different containers, or is this... No, it's one big jumbo one. Okay. Okay, we'll build a conveyor belt going that way. And it'll feed, kind of loop around, and then go in the front of the manufacturer. It will be ugly, but I think it'll work. Let's do this here. So we're basically making spaghetti code. Unmaintainable garbage. But it's okay. We're kind of learning as we go, that's the point. Okay, let's go. And the game keeps changing, so... Just want to get to be able to make all the stuff. Okay, I gotta go all the way down there. And these things, I think we can go five tiles in between them. One, two, three, four, five maybe? Let's try that. I wanna... Oh, that, I think that's lined up. From there, maybe we can only go four. It's been a while since I played, like I said. Oh, that's long enough, okay. Oh, this conveyor belt's going to be in the way of this thing. But, uh, that's okay. Oh, there goes the big giant ray. Okay, then five, like this. I think trains are going to change everything in terms of the logistics of moving stuff around. The vertical lifts change things a lot too. I, I haven't really used them yet, but I will be using them when I make a fresh new base. Now I want to kind of wrap around here and go around the back. So we're going to do a... How far can I reach here? Probably only to about here. Let's see if that works. I had a whole bunch of hard drives from exploring the map. So that's... How I'm getting all these new recipes. I got one that's like a, a compacted coal. Which I haven't really used yet, but it sounds pretty cool. Okay, let's at least make this line up, kind of. And we're going to kind of loop around the corner here and then come around the side. So this can go. Don't need that. Don't need that. So pipes are going in there. Okay, let's try this. Here. To here. I might need to extend this a little bit. I don't think we can bend around this corner. Oh, maybe we can. Yeah. Not a problem. They're going in. Oh, it's a big leg spike. I'm playing on 4K ultra, ultra settings. Okay, there we go. We got the alternate Nobelisk being made. And this thing's super overclocked. I've got, like, I don't know, 200 of these power shards. I've probably used about 50 of them. Still got about 150 of them left. And I still have some slugs I haven't even broken down. So I've been juicing a lot of my machines. Instead of building more machines, I've just been juicing them. These, uh, steroids. Machine steroids. So there we go, we got the uh, Nobelisk going in there. And these are good for like, blowing up things that are in your way. Blowing up those stink plants. But let's, let's play with the uh, Explorer a little bit here. I don't have much room to drive around, but we'll make one here. And we will take it for a spin. It's pretty cool, it shrinks down if it has to go under stuff. There we go. Pop in some fuel. I think I got some f extra fuel on me. Yep, there we go. And... In we go. Now this thing can go fast. I think it goes 100 kilometers an hour. Like, it, and it just kind of ducked under there. So here we go. I don't really have room to run here, but... <laughs> It corners pretty well. 
Better than the truck. It's pretty fun to drive. I don't really have anywhere to go, but... Whoa. And you can drive it off cliffs, and it doesn't really seem to have much... Last time I tested it, it just works magically. Like, look at that. Because since there's low gravity on this planet, you can just, you can really have some fun here. Oh, there's a stinky thing. I don't think we can blow those up, but we can blow up the plants that stand up and fart on you. Okay, here we go. This is going to be crazy. Here we go. Not advised. Yo! <laughs> uh, are we going to die? I'm going to eject. Oh, I died. <laughs> uh, am I stuck in the air? Oh, I think I got stuck. I think I got stuck. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. We're like... We're in limbo. And I haven't saved recently. Hmm. Okay, that's a bug. I might have to load a new game here. Uh, is there like a respawn? A respawn. Here we go. That worked. That saves us from having to uh, reload. Okay, let's heal up. I got nothing on me. So we're not going to be able to jet back down there. Hmm. Hmm, I might have to walk down. That was not planned. I thought I would survive that drop. I think if you stay in the actual car, you survive. But I was paranoid, so I got out of there. Okay, let's grab that. I should probably have a spare jetpack kicking around for situations like this. Actually, I, I don't really die that often. Let's heal up first. It's becoming nighttime, so... That probably wasn't the smartest thing. Hmm, maybe I can get away with making a backpack here. What do we need? Uh, the, what is it? The jetpack. What do we need for the jetpack? Plastic? Circuit board? Rubber? Cable? Uh, okay. Um, we have all that stuff kicking around somewhere. I got a lot of my trash sitting out here. Hmm. I might have the supplies here. I might have to go grab some of them. What have we got in here? We got some rubber in here. Okay. Plastic was in there too. Grab that. Kind of want to get out there before the sun goes down. I think cable was another one. Let's see here. We need... Oh, circuit boards. I don't think I have any of those kicking around here. Might have to... Oh. I do. I tend to hoard stuff, so... And have supplies kicking around. Okay, let's make one of those. And that should be good. And we need some fuel, which I have somewhere in here. Oh. Yeah, let's grab that. I always think... I always think my inventory is over here and the box is on the right. I don't know why I think that. That just intuitively seems like it would be that way. And then whenever I play the game, I feel like everything is backwards. Now, if we encounter any baddies, I think we're in trouble here. Okay, we got backpack, we got fuel. Let's get over there. I think I'll jettison myself over there. Maybe. Yeah, this will work. To infinity and beyond. Okay. I can remember where I died. Oh, I think my corpse shows up. On the map somewhere. Does it? Does respawning leave your corpse? I don't know. Like I said, I don't... I don't really die that much. I'm usually more careful. I don't usually drive off cliffs, but I thought it would be fun. Probably be more fun if we put a ramp and launched ourselves into the valley like that.
I did jetpack when I got out of the of the car, but probably wasn't enough. Okay, our corpse is well. The yeah, there's a crate down there, so that's my stuff, I think. Okay, here we go. Yeehaw! There it is. I love these like salt, salt plant thingies. They look like um. They look kind of like an iris. Anyway, they're really cool. Okay, our car survived, and our stuff is there. Okay, good. Uh, grab all. And we didn't have enough room, I don't think. So what can we get rid of? Concrete. Actually, the wood. Actually, instead of doing that, I think I'll actually delete it. I don't know if leaving stuff, all, all this junk around, causes performance issues. Can we take two jetpacks? Yeah, there we go. And this thing, am I going to drive it? I don't think I'm going to drive it back. I'm just going to disassemble it. And we got to make some room here. What a, oh, we got detonators. We got all this stuff. Brought too much stuff. Uh, we don't need this powder, really. I've got a whole container of powder. I don't really need this extra fuel. Delete that. I do want... Oh, the beacon. Oh, let's just try to grab all. Oh, it worked. Okay. And we're sitting in hot water here. Yeah, these look so nice. I don't know what it is. So I think I'm going to head over to this other area I want to show you. Because then we can try blowing stuff up with this uh, detonator and our new... We got some explosives on us, I think. Did I bring any? Hmm. Yeah, we have a few here. This thing confused me when I when I started playing again. Oh, there's a geyser here. We could put a uh, we could put some power on here actually. Not that we need more power, but geothermal. What do I need? Rubber, of course. We'll come back. We'll put a rubber on that uh, spewing. <laughs> Never mind. I'll shut up now. Uh, yes. The spewing geyser requires rubber. Oh, but uh, this thing, yeah. It confused me. Just the way it reloads. You can actually chuck these things. So you reload with the R and then you can throw these things and they stick. And then left click to blow things up. Left right click. Lovely. I wonder if I can blow up this rock. Let's see. Um, let's try that again. A little bit of... There we go. Right click or left click? Oh, right click. Yeah, you can blow up rocks. Blowing things up is always fun. Here's my... My power plant that I don't really need. Let's stop. Stop using this. Oh, our inventory's full. Uh, what can I get? Oh, I picked up those mushrooms. They're good food, but I'll delete it. Can we get across there? Hmm. Probably. Whoa. I'm not used to flying in low G. And with lag spikes. It makes it a little bit more difficult. And the reason I'm over here is because there's some secret stuff on the map. Uh, and I forget what the button for the map is because it's been so long. Q. Uh, I have to look this up. I'm sorry. What is the map key? There is a map, right? Pretty sure. Open map Z. Okay, yeah. Let's see where we are here. So, these black areas, some of them are like hidden caves that have the the blocking boulders. 
So if we go over like here, we might be able to... Oh, yeah, look at this. I have a little sign for myself. Explorer. So we'll head over that way. And we'll try to blow up... Blow up the blow up the thing to get to more things. And this is our extra oil refining and power plants that I don't really need because we have so much power. Let's just check our power here. We got uh, capacity 5,000 megawatts and we're using about 1,700. Not bad. But nuclear power is coming. So that's going to be extra crazy, I think. So we probably won't use all that oil for power. Instead, we'll use uranium for power. Where does this go? What do I have this here for? Just to get up faster? Okay. Nice view. Yeah, so we'll save the oil for plastic and stuff. And probably use nuclear for power. Okay, here's our quartz line that goes way off to the base there. And let's just see. Z for the map. We are heading kind of this way. We're kind of headed in the right direction. I think it's, yeah, more like that. So let's jump on this. I've got my little highway here. I'll probably replace these things, these belts that I use for travel with the train. Okay, that's some serious lag. Let's see here. Uh, I think... I think I'm gonna float down. Or maybe not. Oh. Can I get over there still? We're gonna run out of fuel. We're gonna run out of fuel. Oh, oh, oh. Was close. Yeah, we're heading in the right direction. We'll get over there, see if we can explode some balls, get into some caves. Pretty sure we can get in there. Um, oh, we're there already. That was quick. Can't zoom in anymore. Okay, so it's down here somewhere. Is it the very bottom? I'll have to take a look around here. Oh, I think I said explore because I already broke in. But I think I might have needed a more filters for my mask because it might be stink. Stinkville in there. Let's see. I think that's why I left a note to myself. Because I couldn't explore it at the time. I think it might be down here. Whoa, lag, lag. <laughs> Not a good time to lag. Um, I get a question in the comments often. How did you get XYZ? Like, how did you get the supercomputer? How did you get the quick wire? How did you get all the stuff that's unlocked behind cat... Catarium research? Ow. Oh, here's a ball. So I've already... Yeah, I've already... Uh, blown this up. Anyway, sorry. So, um... People are asking, how do you get all that stuff? And you need to find some Catarium... Um on the map somewhere and there's no way to there's maps online that you can search for that will kind of give everything away like where to find that ore or you can just run around and try to find it on your own and once you get some of it and you research it then you open up a whole bunch of new stuff it's kind of like an alternate research path but let's even though I've already blown this up let's blow up the rest of it oops I almost blew up my hand Good thing that didn't actually work. There we go. Two balls to be blown up. This will hurt. Oh boy. Got some big pieces. Oh yeah, it's stinkful in here. Did I bring a mask? I don't think I did. Yeah, 
mask, mask. I should always travel with one, but I didn't bring it. So if we go in here, oh, we're gonna take damage. Oh, there's another, there's another way in over there. Where does that go? Can I throw my explosive that far? Oops. No, let's try, let's try a little a wider angle here. Bingo. Where does that go? Oh, that's just another way in. Okay. Stop using this. You can build like big chain reactions with these things too. In fact, let's try it. Let's put these explosives to good use. Actually, let's put a few of them here. And if you hit, <laughs> if you hit the wrong button, you can do some serious damage. Oh, let's do some more. How many do we have? 61. Hmm. Why not? I didn't plan to do this, but I'm not going to do all 61. That's probably good. Let's make a little chain reaction here. Get to the minimum safe distance. I think this will, well, they'll all blow up anyway. Here we go, are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, ho, ho, ho. it kind of did it in reverse. It did, it started with the big pile and then moved out. I think I'll do some more experimenting with those. Now there is a wreck up there. I think I already got it. But I'll take a, take another look here. I think I... I built a tower here. That means I've already got it. Yeah, we've already uh, opened that one up, I think. Pretty sure. Yeah. Got some parts down there, but we don't really need those, so... Back up we go. Head back to base. I kind of wish there was teleporting, but that would be too cheating. Later on when we get trains, we'll be able to get around really quickly, I think. After we build a train, a massive train network. Like I said, I do have a bit of a highway using conveyor belts and these foundations to get around with. And they work pretty well. Yeah, we get crazy legs, bike. I'm sure performance is something that they're tuning. I don't even have, a, I don't think I have a big factory compared to what some people are building. I do have a slightly older computer though. Here we go. Ah, traveling in style. This is my preferred way of traveling because you don't have to do anything. You just stand here. You don't even have to drive except when you get to a corner. And if I smoothed out the corners, I think I could probably do it without moving. This game looks so good. It sounds so good. It looks so good. Oh, we got a, whatchamacallit down there. Crystal, artifact, thingamajig, doohickey, bobber. Yeah, if I smooth this corner out, we could just, oh, it worked. I didn't have to do anything. I want to see if I can blow this stink thing up here. Now, if I jump down there, am I going to die? Nope. I haven't. I don't think I've tried this yet. Uh, detonator. Can we even get close enough to blow it up? That's the thing. Maybe we can just chuck it there. <laughs> Good thing I can't blow myself up like that. Uh, bingo bongo. Okay, let's just see. Nope. Indestructible. Okay, good to know. I wish we could blow those things up too, but... 
You cannot. I guess that makes it so you have to use the mask. But you can blow these guys up. Oh, let's blow one of these up here. I think I might have done this in a past episode. Now these stand up. They release their toxic gas. Oops. <laughs> and they kill you. But we will get our revenge. Presto. Finito. I like it. These will probably become some exotic resource later and people will have blown them all up. So I won't blow them all up, only when I need to clear the way. Okay, let's go check out a few more of those alternate blueprints that I needed. And I did unlock... One of the things you can unlock is extra inventory space. Which I still need to purchase, but I need to get some modular frames over that way. This just loops around. <laughs> We're going to go this way. I'm going to go check in on our production thing here. See how it's going. And I haven't really played with the radar tower as much, but we have a few of them out there. They are slowly clearing the way, scanning the map for us. You can see the edge of it here. So it's just expanding. It has some max radius. I got one over here. I got to put one over in this section. The map's pretty damn big though. Anyway, how's this going? How many explosives do we have here? Filling up the container fairly quickly. Now, besides blow blowing things up and exploring by blowing up those rocks, there's not much, not much use for those so far. I didn't show the black powder production, which is just over here. That's going on right here. Coal plus sulfur, two sulfur, makes black powder. And I got a buffer, a couple buffer containers here. And we got sulfur coming in and coal. Sulfur's coming in from like way, way over the other side of the map. It is coming in from, I think over here, somewhere over here. Had to, had to build a really long conveyor belt. I prefer conveyor belts over the trucks when there's a lot of obstacles and crap to get by. Plus they don't, the belts scale better. Okay, but I had some research I had to complete here. Let's see. Under tier two, expanded pocket dimension. I need another 15 modular frames and I did have those queuing up. Hopefully I have enough built. We'll take a little chip pack ride over there. I was stashing them over in this container here, I think. Oh yeah, we got tons. Okay, I'm gonna actually chuck some of this conk. Oh, I shouldn't chuck it on the ground. I should destroy it. Otherwise, I think it adds to the lag. Maybe, maybe not. Got two reinforced plates I can get rid of. Let's just grab as many as we can take and we'll head back. Oh yeah, let's check. I want to show you my heavy modular frame production. We got a few of them. One, two, three, four, five. Five, and we'll have six containers eventually. This thing's running... I think it's starved for modular frames because I've been putting half of them in that container there, but eventually it'll catch up. That container will fill up and this will go back to full speed. should get a jump pad back there. Thought I had one over here. Well, I got one over there. I guess we'll run over here. Yeah. 
And blast over here. There's another one right here. Oh. Missed it. Okay, let's check our inventory. Our inventory is like completely full. Let's just see if this actually works as intended. Now it used to be when you hit this launch pod, the launch pod would actually launch, but it stopped doing that. And we got more inventory, yay. I guess we can go all the way down to here. And I researched a hard drive before we started this video, so let's see what we got here. Alternate blueprint turbo fuel. That's new. Coal plus fuel. Sweet. Oh, I like it. There's some new stuff in here that I didn't see before. This is a much simplified uh, computer blueprint. And we got steel for screws instead of the alternate. I'm not sure if I like that as much, but let's do this turbo fuel. And we'll get another hard drive queued up. I'm kind of running out of hard drives, I think, now. Got three left in this container. I might have some more in here. There's our mask. Um, none in there, I don't think. Yeah, I might be getting close to using all my computers up. We'll have to go find some more wreckages. And we got these alien organs to uh, research. I don't know what that unlocks. We'll do that another time. So these take 10 minutes. I'll just let that go and maybe I'll talk about it next episode. Is there anything else I want to do? I don't think so. We drove a little bit. We crashed. Um, I do want to explore around all these areas that like these ones here that we have to blow up the boulders to get into but there's nothing new to find yet it's just slugs or somber sloop everything that we've seen before as far as i know i didn't know about that turbo fuel so that's new actually let's see if we can unlock that turbo fuel we need coal and fuel okay we can do that. We got fuel. We got some coal over here, I think. In the coal container. Which comes off the bus. Right. Actually, it doesn't. It's manually put in there. That's fine. It was coming off the bus. Uh, let's get that researched. Where did it go? I picked it up, didn't I? There it is. Um, is it coal? Oh, it needs compacted coal. Which needs sulfur. Compacted coal is that other new one that I found. I don't think we can make that in here. We have to actually make it in a machine, I think. Because it's, uh, yeah. Let's just see here. Compacted coal. There it is. So we need to make that in the machine. Maybe I'll quickly do that. Sorry. Right. Coughing into the mic. Let's put up a temporary assembler here. Assembler. Yep. Uh, we'll just manually load it. Because I don't know how much compacted coal I'm going to need. We'll grab some power from here. Can't connect any more power lines. Okay. Bring a messy power line over here. That goes in there. We'll select alternate compacted coal and we'll shove the coal in there. 
And we gotta go grab some sulfur. But first I'm gonna clear up my inventory a bit, because I got so much crap. So much crap in my inventory. Okay, what do we... We don't need all these heavy modular frames. Why do I... Why am I walking around with this much black powder? I think it's control... Yeah, control click. We'll keep a little bit on us, just in case. Don't need this much fuel. Don't need all that concrete. And the sulfur... I don't think I have any storage containers of sulfur around here. I might have some kicking around here. How much is this? 100. Well, that'll do for now. Get things up and running. There we go. Chuck that in there. There we go. And let's, uh, let's juice this machine up here. Now there was a bug for a while where if you used a whole stack of these things they would all disappear. I hope that's not the case but I'm being safe. To speed this to full power. Oh, we're, we're going to be able to get 300 out of this I think. But it's going to take a little bit of time. Oh, we'll need 100. Never mind. It'll be pretty quick. We'll just let that, let that work away. Where's my... Oh, there's my sulfur up there. We could branch off that and plug it in. I should probably turn this around, though. I don't really know if I'm going to use compacted coal for anything, though. Unless... Oh, turbo fuel is probably going to need it. And I think the f better the fuel, the faster the vehicle will go. So it might be worth, might be worth making. I wish there was a hand slot that had nothing, so I could switch to that because I don't like having something in my hand all the time. Put that in as a feature request. Okay, so I got 99. Uh, okay, we need more coal. We need more sulfur. This will be quick. We'll grab one of these. Oh, that's only 25. Whatever. Grab that, and we'll grab some right off the line here. Oh, we're stuck on the belt, though. Don't need that many. We'll just grab a few here. Probably good. Chuck that in there. Sulfur. Coal. There we go. That's enough. Oh, we had enough. Oh, no, that's coal. Come back to coal. Perfect. Let's try that. Get the turbo fuel. There we go. Launch the pod that doesn't... Whoa, that... That was a new... Icon. That little fist wasn't there before, was it? Not that I noticed. Interesting. And it didn't launch. Maybe it can't launch. I don't know. Turbo fuel. Can we make that in here now? Or is it considered an alternate? It might be. Anyway, I'll do that off camera. We'll play around with that. Do some speed tests with the Explorer. See if we can go even faster. And I'll, maybe I'll start planning how, it, how I would like the factory to actually be. I'll do some more exploring. See if I've missed anything. See if I've missed unlocking some stuff. But yeah, plan what the big factory will be once nuclear power gets here. Starting from scratch would take a long time. A very long time, because we've got all this stuff being made. Lots of stuff stored away. 
Yeah, it would take a very long time. This playthrough has 100, let's see here, play duration 17 hours. I don't think that's correct. No, I think this playthrough has way more hours in it than 17 hours. I think it's 120, 128 hours, all said. But I let the game run sometimes without me playing, like actively playing it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap things up here. Uh, keep this episode as concise as possible, even though I blab, blab on and on. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all next time.